Okay. Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Look who I got. It's me. It's my daughter, Tia. For all of my new subscribers that don't know her, um, she is a bit of a staple on this channel whenever mm. she's around. Just go back and you'll laugh at all my videos. <laughs> what is up with my hair? See, this is what I'm talking about with my hair growth happening. I've got like little wingies happening. Anyway. Don't even talk to me about little wingies. <laughs> <laughs> I got them all. <laughs> anyway, um, you may know that recently uh, George and I got married in May. Oh, Bailey's like she's after a toy or something. Um, we got married in May and Tia told us that I'm going to be a first time grandma the day before our wedding. <laughs> So I had like quite a weekend and um, she gave me the first sonogram, sonogram, ultrasound, ultrasound, sonogram, wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what a sonogram is. <laughs> We've been out in the sun today. <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> um, and so now she is, how many weeks? In a few days, I'll be 19 weeks. 19. How many months is that? I don't know. Is that like five months? I think it's near the end of four. Okay. I think. Okay. Oh my God. Math. Uh. Anyway. I can look it up. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. So this is kind of the first time since she told me that I got to, I've gotten to see her. And, I mean, I, I talk to her all the time. The dog is snoring now. <laughs> We've got a grand puppy here. And, oh, here she comes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so, it's the first time I got to see her since then. And she's got baby bump. I'm so happy. I get to actually see it. <laughs> she actually brought the this little machine. It's a fetal monitor. A fetal monitor. So, I could hear the baby's heartbeat. And, of course, I cried. I really wish I prepared you for that and recorded it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, it, it became reality. Up until this point, it's kind of been like, I love those diesel trucks. <laughs> um, it's just kind of been not a reality. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to be a grandma and all, you know, it hasn't really hit me until I saw her this weekend. Um, and now it's like, I'm. I'm seeing her stomach and I'm going, this is really going to happen. I grumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the baby. Mm -hmm. I just fed me. Just fed you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And then hearing that, I mean, she sent me a vid couple videos of the heartbeat and everything, but it still didn't click, right? Like it was just like, oh, that's so sweet. But when you hear it per in person, then it's like, oh crap, this is really happening, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So we actually took a trip to Baby Toys R Us. Babies R Us. Ba Babies R Us. And Tia started her... <sighs> <laughs> she started her baby registry. Wow, what a trip that was. I I haven't had a baby in like 30 years. And it was a shock. It was a total eye-opener. The stuff that they've got now is so space-aged, it's insane. <laughs> space-aged. <laughs> it's like, I, I just can't even believe the stuff that they can. I mean... She was sitting down at the desk and she's talking to the guy, giving the address and all the information. And I turn around and I'm looking and I jump out of my chair and I go running over. I'm like, what is this? Oh my God. This is like a coffee maker for a baby bottle. And it's, it's a machine. You probably, you're going to all laugh at me because you probably already know about this, but it's a machine that has the baby formula powder on the top. Like on a on a coffee machine where you'd have the the 
the coffee beans and then you put the bottle underneath that's got a canister for water you push a button whoop your bottle's done <laughs> you know it's like i'm just like you're kidding right and it even warms it and there's a different version where you connect it to wi-fi and you yeah. get it on your phone yeah oh yeah let's go change the baby diaper push a button and then my bottle will be done downstairs when i'm finished are you freaking kidding me i just about fell off my chair i was like really like this grandma stuff is going to be a piece of freaking cake now <laughs> like <laughs> i'm going to be balancing the baby with one hand and i mean it's going to be so easy i just can't even believe it and then they've got like uh, a playpen that's like a four-in-one playpen you know with the pram in it and the different levels of the playpen so that the baby can grow into it and I'm just like I'm I'm blown away absolutely blown away um, but we had a lot of fun we were going to she had her little gun her little scanning gun and we were going around and we're like beep 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 <laughs> So, but it was, it was Mind a you, you're the one who's like, scan that, scan that, scan that. And I'm like, I don't really know if I need that. My, my thought was like, if I want to buy this stuff for her, then I'm going to, I'm going to totally forget. Right. And is I that wanna... why you made me make the registry? Yes. <laughs> so I can like remember what the heck it was I wanted to buy her in the first place. So, All right. you know, and oh my God, the strollers, like, come on. They're a little excessive. Like, why are they so expensive? Eight hundred dollars for a stroller, and that's the cheaper one. And it turns on a dime. You can like use your finger to maneuver the damn thing. I just, I'm like, wow. Like, oh my god, my dog dying. Look at her face. <laughs> I think we need to take a water break for just one second. <laughs> Holy cow. Catastrophe. <laughs> one big dog, one little dog. Don't mix. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, our trip was actually quite eye-opening and fun. If you're bored one day, just go to a freaking a baby store and see. Like, it's, I'm, I'd just go there just to walk around and just if I'm bored, you know. I mean, wow. Totally cool. <laughs> Let's not forget the high chair that you wanted me to get. Oh my God, the high chair. That's like a five-in-one high chair, <laughs> right? And it was only $250 or something like that. And it's like, it it goes from newborn baby all the way up to like a four-year-old or whatever. Like it, it's, oh my God, it's so insane. So insane. And then Tia says to me, well, don't forget, Mom, you're going to need two of everything because you're going to need something at your house, too. Not everything, just the essentials. The essentials. Everything is an essential. So I'm going, oh, I'm going to need to get a playpen. I'm going to need a high chair, unless you can bring the high chair with you. I'm, I'm just, well, George is going, okay, so do I move out now? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. Realistically, for now, like the first year, you just need whatever a baby would need in that first year. I'm pretty sure you don't need a high chair. I don't know. Well, as soon as the baby starts sitting up, you will. Mm-hmm. Right? So, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is going to be a, a learning experience for me. Oh, my God, if she has a boy, I'm in trouble. I don't know how to take care you of You wanted boy. a boy. I know. I totally want a boy. Because we've only got one boy in the family. But I don't know how to take care of a boy. I've heard that if you take the diaper off a boy, it pees on you. Like, you got to do it really fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I don't know how to take care of a pee-pee. Like, well, I do. So we're good on that part. I know George would have something to say about that. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway. No, I meant a little boy. <laughs> I know how to take care of a little boy. 
Oh. Oh my God. Well, you've had practice. Yeah. Her, her friend had a boy, so she has practice. I have had practice. I don't know. Well, it's funny as dad said. I know. The first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get peed in the face. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, okay, you know what? We're going to have to work on this. <laughs> uh, dad said the same thing, too. Like, he thinks it's a girl. And he's like, but, you know, it would be kind of interesting because I don't know how to take care of a boy. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> your dad had all the crappy parts of being a dad. I tell you that. Like, this one. She learned how to paint the walls with her diaper. <laughs> I was an artist at I, birth. <laughs> I was at work. I got the frantic phone call. <laughs> I was just like, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Enough. You, oh, go lay apparently, down. Uh, ow, go lay Cleo down. wants to say something. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So. <laughs> go lay down. You see go that? We're sitting on a couch and her head's already up here. She's only half the size. So, so, yeah, so taking care of a boy is going to be really interesting if you have one. I'm fine with it. Yeah, you're good, but... Yeah, I don't <laughs> Oh, Haley, oh, oh, Haley, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, it's... It's... <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, I'm excited... Uh, it's, when do you find out the gender? In a couple of days, right? Yeah, the 11th. Yeah. A couple of, well, she's not going to find out the gender. The she, envelope will know the gender. Yeah, she, <laughs> she will have the envelope and she will be giving it to a friend. And then I don't know when the gender reveal is going to happen. Neither do I. So that's kind of in the works. They're trying to figure out what they're doing. Yeah, realistically, it's find out because they told me about 20 weeks is because it's 18 to 20 weeks but 20 weeks is better because you're more further along so i had to wait the 20 weeks so pretty much once i have that envelope is when i go okay let's start planning yeah i don't want to plan ahead of time and then you know yeah so all my crochet is on hold i'm getting crap from angela from my precious yarnery like every day <laughs> saying what's the gender i need to know the gender <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh, so yeah. Apparently she has plans. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So once that happens, then I can start crocheting and doing grandma things. But for right now, my grandma button is kind of like hold uh, until I find out. So the second you find out, you can hit that red button. Yeah. It's like kind of blast off. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's like okay, we're going shopping, <laughs> and George is going to be like, "Oh, here we go." <laughs> See, but at least you and Auntie can go shopping together because I know that you both want to do it. Oh my God, my sister and I. Oh, um, yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. <laughs> it's going to be a fight. I want to buy her that. No, I'm buying that. No, I'm buying that. <laughs> it's like it's it's going to be. I'll have to video some of it because it's just going to be um, unreal. <laughs> well, so. you you put a lot of pressure on the the legend, it's the first baby. <laughs> oh yeah, well and that, yeah, because uh, her my daughter my daughter my sister's daughter and my oldest daughter haven't had kids, so this is going to be our first grandbaby uh, between the sisters. And, well, and my oldest sister, I don't think her kids have had, I don't talk to my oldest sister, so I'm pretty sure that neither one of her kids have had kids and maybe won't. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I find it very funny how I'm the youngest and I'm having the first baby, but right. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think James had a little something to say about it. <laughs> they just got engaged at Christmas time. Well, it's funny because I don't want to go too far into it, but basically we met and I think he was just head over heels for me. Of so, course he was. <laughs> you could totally see it. Yeah. So, I mean, people want to say that we moved too fast and all that kind of stuff, but sometimes it's when you know that person's like your rock or whatever, you kind of just know. 
Well, you guys were talking baby talk before you even got engaged. Well, that's because it's me. I need to make sure, you know, yeah. our age difference. Do you want kids? Yes or no? Yes, yeah, then it wouldn't a bit work. Of a gap. There's a bit of a gap of age difference. We're 18 years apart. Yeah. But you'd never know it because James is a goofball. He acts like he's, he's 12. He's, <laughs> he's, I love him to bits. I couldn't have asked for a better son in law, but he's a goofball. <laughs> You know, um, he's, uh, he's a sweetheart and I think, I think he's going to be a great dad, but I'm a little concerned, <laughs> you know, um, I'm concerned too. <laughs> he, he's, he's into car racing and you know, he's a, a, a long haul truck driver and a, a tow operator. tow operator and all that. So um yeah if it's a girl i think you're gonna have a tomboy well have you seen me <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i think yeah i think the baby either way is going to be a grease monkey before it's even out of diapers so well let's i mean i'm not i've said it before but i nothing against my dad <laughs> oh yeah her he, dad's a mechanic yeah, he had every opportunity to teach me the ins and outs of well, fixing he did, a vehicle. Totally. But I could have known a lot more. I could have been a grease monkey, whatever. Like he could have taught me those things as a female. Yeah. But he didn't. He taught me how to change a tire and my own oil. But I also grew up in a shop pretty much. I don't even know how to do that. I <laughs> I got people for that, as George would say. <laughs> but as a, as a female, you would think, like, you know, people walk all over you in the mechanic shop. So as a female, if you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Big old yeah. middle finger to you, but. <laughs> yeah. I think I think he uh, dodged a, a bullet on that one. Who, your dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he could have taught me a lot of things, but he, he didn't. But that's, that's fine. You mean he dropped the ball? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I dodged the bullet. No, he dropped the ball. <laughs> hey man, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's got pregnant brain. Um, but I told James, I said, you know, whether it's a boy or a girl, I want, I want them to be able to be with you, be with mm -hmm. Uncle, be with all the people that have their cars, learn some things, be a part of that group. Yeah, and have that memory with Dad and Uncle and everybody else that you know. I grew up working on cars. I have this yeah. relationship. So, oh, you guys, I found the most adorable little outfit that I want to get the baby. <laughs> it's a little race car outfit. Whether it's a girl or a boy, I got to get this little outfit because it's so cute. You know, it's expensive, but man, it's going to be so worth it to see James, <laughs> the look on James's face. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I mean, if you guys have like a little tomboy or a little grease monkey or whatever, it's going to be, I'm going to be like, but you got to learn some crafts too. <laughs> Building a car is a craft. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe if it's a girl that she will take on some of the crochet. <laughs> well, the way that I see it is with mom and dad, it's going to be tomboy you know get yeah. your hands dirty play with some toys yeah um but with you come to grandma's house that's finger paint <laughs> <laughs> just don't finger paint the walls <laughs> with, with poop yeah. no just like i did no no uh -uh. don't need that experience thank you <laughs> so but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun um really excited i'm gonna be very broke for a very long time. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be broke for the next 18 years. You're going to be real broke for the rest of your life. What are you talking about? That's true. <laughs> I still pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to, you know, touch base with you guys and say, here she is. A lot of people ask about her and, uh, you know, and sent warm wishes when I told everybody about the baby. And uh, so I thought I'd have her on camera to say, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we haven't been on camera together for quite a while. 
Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. I mean, my God, the question and answer video that we did. <laughs> Wait, which one? Which one? Oh, we did more than one, didn't we? I don't know. We've done a lot of things. I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to sign off now, I guess. Do you have anything else to say? How do you feel being pregnant? Like I don't feel pregnant. <laughs> like you don't feel pregnant? Yeah, like I just, minus the tummy growth. I don't. She didn't go through much um, in the way of like morning sickness or anything. Thank God. Well, I mean, are we going to do the whole story here? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I found out I was pregnant the day before my birthday. In May. Yeah. <laughs> so I found out on April 30th. The 31st? I don't know. How many days are in April? <laughs> <laughs> the end of April. <laughs> um, mind you, I had a symptom that I did not click into my brain, which was sore oh, yeah. boobies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the booby pain. Um, and a friend did mention to me, like, I knew a month before because you were complaining about how tired you were or whatever, and I, I didn't click into my head at all. Um, so I said to James, I was like, okay, so... Do I take this test or do I just wait to see? Because I believe I was about eight days late. So he said, just take it. Like, you're not going to be wasting that test anyway. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I took the test. I put it on the counter. And I had brushed one side of my hair. So it happened really fast. And I looked at it and it said pregnant. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously we talk about it. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So it's not like we were preventing it from happening. But... Yeah, they weren't. It, it was still a shock to me, though, because I didn't think I could. Yeah. So I told him, and he just kind of looked at me like he wasn't afraid. It was just, we're doing this. Like, I'm happy. So I think the last weeks after that is when I really felt it, where I was tired I didn't like I wasn't sick I wasn't throwing up I wasn't nauseous but I just did not feel normal mm -hmm. like I just felt gross <laughs> felt gross <laughs> <laughs> like I like I felt like I had a flu but without the flu symptoms you know like I just felt weak. how can you feel like you have the flu without the symptoms I mean like not like the throwing up symptoms like I just felt really weak and down I guess yeah, she went through a bit of a depress depressive state there. Well, also my hormones bit. were just like kicking in. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Hinchliff just walked in the door. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, and then I think it was a couple, uh, maybe like two or three weeks before my second trimester is when I just went back to normal. So it was a very quick, you feel like crap. <laughs> and then now we're into just normal. Yeah. So realistically, I think I can nap every day. So I can I can sleep, have a nap, maybe have a second nap, <laughs> and then go to bed at night, and I have no issues falling asleep. <laughs> so I'm just yeah. tired mostly. I don't yeah. feel I don't feel like I'm pregnant other than this going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, th that's gonna change now because now you're starting your fifth month, and from this point on, it's gonna be like poof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So, well, how how has your appetite changed? It hasn't. It hasn't. Well, it did. I don't have. Well, because at first you were like, she loves spicy food. Oh yeah, I couldn't right? do it. The acid reflux is really bad for me. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't do the whole spicy food thing, but now she's back to doing the spicy food thing. <laughs> so, I like oh, my spicy food. Here's Mr. Hinchlip. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, so it's, but she keeps sending me these little things that tell, you know, how big the baby is. It's, you know, okay, we are currently a zucchini. Yes. <laughs> We're the size of a zucchini. <laughs> so, um, so that's been really cute. And, uh, she keeps me updated all the time and how she's feeling, how she's doing and all of that. <clears throat> so, but it's so much easier when she's here. Excuse me. And then I can <laughs> um, and then I can kind of keep a tab on her to say, okay, are you okay? Are you feeling okay? You're all right? You're <laughs> I'm a little sweaty right now. No, I know. But... I, look at me. 
I'm going, jeez, oh, I'm red. <laughs> it's like, oh, this weekend was a little brutal. <clears throat> so, yeah. So that's cool. Anything else you want to add? Nope. I just, uh, I think I was feeling flutters pretty soon. Oh, yeah. She's starting to feel the baby moving. I don't feel like the kicking. How many weeks was I? Like, you weren't very far. I think Jeez. I was about 12 or 13 weeks. Yeah. And I felt it and I was like, is that it? <laughs> is that yeah. the flutter that everyone talks about? And I guess yeah. it was because it, it's continued since. Yeah. She's going to have an active baby. Well, if it's anything like have her James, hands oh my good lord, <laughs> it'll be an adrenaline junkie. Oh my good lord, let's hope that the baby takes on some of your stuff. Well, I don't know. We both like fast cars, so. <laughs> well, the baby's gonna be bouncing off the walls. Oh my god, trying to take care of that baby for me is gonna be. I'm gonna feel like an old woman. Holy crap! That's another reason why I really wanted to get my health in check because I want to be around for the baby. I want to be around for my daughter. You know, I want to be around for George. You know, so I want to be healthy enough that I can run after the toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Going with my walker. You know? <laughs> it's like, jeez. Well, in all honesty, though, you're still in your early fives. Yeah, my early fives. <laughs> So it's not like you're in your 60s or 70s where it'll be harder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're you're kind of like a young grandma in a sense. I am. I, am. I would think, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's between like the 40s and 50s. Yeah, I don't know. Is 53 a young grandma, George? <laughs> I was a grandpa long before I was 70. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear. Ouch. <laughs> Thanks. That you look it. like a young grandma. Uh-huh. Did you hear that? You look. Yeah, he's trying <laughs> to dig himself out. No. <laughs> it all depends on how bad the grandma was in her younger years. What? If 53 is a young grandma. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> is 53 too young to be a grandma? <laughs> Lots of people in your 50s are grandkids. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, I, th I think I'm on the younger side to have a kid, so. I'm in between because I'm 25, so. Well, I was 20. You were 26 one. with me. Yeah, I was 21 when I was pregnant with my first. And then I was 26 when I was pregnant with her. So, ooh. You had me at 25. You were turning 26. Yeah. Um. I look at you <laughs> right now and I'm thinking I felt way like way more like an adult back then. Like I thought I was all grown up and and every hot stuff. <laughs> I'm like looking at you going, Holy shit, I was young. <laughs> I was really young. I was way too young. Mm. Wow. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah, so we will keep you posted. Keep I think the next seated. time I'm on video is for the gender. Yeah. Gender reveal. <sighs> <laughs> I'm hoping everything goes as I wanted it to. So. Yeah, she has plans, but it may not happen that way. You know? It's just harder to figure it out. Financially, especially. Well, not really. Yes and no. For me, it's location and where you can... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody's going to be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, you'll just find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that when it happens. <laughs> so, um, yes. And, and for those of you that are new, um... Her other half, James, he is uh, from, if you've ever seen the show, Highway, Highway Through Hell, he's on that show. Mm, you're giving him so much credit. <laughs> yeah. So um, he immediately called them and says, do you guys want to film this? <laughs> Tia's like, ah, no. <laughs> well, I've been on the camera over the last year, so I don't know if I'll actually be on the show or not. Yeah. But it's just, it's an immediate, like, hey, we're doing this. Do you want to 
Do you want yeah. to attend to it? And I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm the mom. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I don't, I don't mind. I just don't want the pressure to feel like it has to be a certain way because yeah. you're being videoed and it may or may not be put on TV. Yeah. That's a little stressful. <laughs> yeah. But it'd be really cool. Yes and no. I think if you speak of the devil, <laughs> James is calling. <laughs> That's James. That's your phone, isn't it? No. The phone's Whose right phone here. is that? I don't know. George is over there. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go <laughs> on that note. And I guess we will talk to you later. A couple weeks. In a couple weeks. Okay. Oh. oh. Am I supposed to just like stand okay. up? We'll show you the baby belly. The small there you belly. Go. <laughs> yep, so there it is. It's my grandbaby. And it's glory. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yep. So, um, yeah, I guess we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. Oh, he's... See. Bye. <laughs>